just make it all the way to Portland from Newport, that little catamaran. Well, Ryan, sit down, my son. It was a long, torturous journey, and I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. Please don't, because we're friends. First, um, I sailed Catalina. Hmm. Then, I sailed to Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara, I ran out of snacks, panicked a little bit, pulled my boat for cash to a Greyhound of Bloodland. You took a bus. Yeah, but don't say it like that, okay? It was a local. Okay, have you ever been on one of those? Not for the same party. I can't believe after all that you took a bus. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to have to come up with a better story for school on Monday. That'd be good. No, I like the bus idea. What about, okay, but what about maybe, um, boat sank saved by whales? Very whale rider. What else you got? I took the boat, boat sank saved by mermaids. Boat sank stranded on a desert island. Um... Hey guys, welcome to Thursdays. Um, I look like a hot mess, but I don't really care. Um, I've been sick practically all week long, so if I sound funny, that's why. Um, let's see. Questions? Okay, the last week I wanted to know the sickest you've ever been. For me, I can narrow that down to twice. The sickest I've ever been was in fourth grade when I had mono. I was out of school for like a month or something because of that. Um, I was throwing up a lot. I lost so much weight it wasn't even funny because I couldn't keep anything down. And something was going on with, I think it's like my liver or my kidneys, whichever one. I don't remember. But I had jaundice. So my eyes started, the whites of my eyes started turning a yellowish color. So we went to the doctor because that apparently scared my parents. And uh, they sent me to the hospital where I stayed all day. I didn't have to stay overnight, which was good, but they did have to give me an IV, and that pretty much set up my terrification, if that's a word. That's when I really started getting scared of the doctors. Um, so, yeah. And then eighth grade, the old day of 07, this will be a memory embedded in my mind forever. Um, we had field day, and it was eighth grade year, so that means we got to work field day, and we got to, like, help out or whatever and uh, run the game. So that means with the, all the food that we got from the concession stand, we got for free. So I ate, like, three slushies, a hot, two or three hot dogs. One of the slushies tasted funny, but I ate that anyway. Not a good move. Starburst, M&M's, popcorn, a bunch of sodas. Then I ate lunch, okay? And that was, like, a sandwich chip, applesauce, a bunch, you know, a bunch of other stuff. So, when we got back to school that afternoon, I was not feeling good, and my friends were like, what's wrong? I was like, I don't feel good, I'm sick. So, I got home that day, threw up like a total of, I think it was like 14 times or something, woke up the next morning, had a fever of 104. Don't know how that has to do, I don't know how that relates to like eating way too much, but that's just how it was. But then like a couple days later, I was perfectly fine. So that was the sixth step in. <coughs> Um, Christy wants to know if you collect anything. No, not really. I used to collect those state quarters, you know, the ones that don't look like quarters, that have, like, pictures for me to stay on them. I used to do that, but I don't really anymore. Um, everyone wants to know what kind of iPod you have. Um, hold on. I have a Sansa iPod. Sand disc, I don't know. This kind? I had to get it out and look at it, because otherwise I would have just said a black one. So, I don't know. Um... Kelly wants to know the longest hours you've ever been awake. That's hard because I'm really, really bad at math. Um, I don't know. I've stayed up longer than 24 hours. It's hard to tell. I don't know. I'm so bad at math that I can't think of it. But I've stayed up longer than 24 hours. So. <coughs> Catherine wants to know how, how, how tall you are. Catherine and Salad. Um, I just went to the doctor today because it still hasn't cleared up. And I've been taking all kinds of medicine for it. So I went to the doctor. And uh, I'm going to be fine. They said, you know, they gave me some prescriptions or whatever. But they weighed me and they uh, measured me, I guess. And uh, I'm 5'5". Five five, so I've grown a half an inch. Yay! I don't have to say 5'4 and a half anymore because that was annoying. Catherine, you look really short on camera. 
I was surprised to find out that you were 5'8". That really shocked me. And my question this week, once again, I don't have it picked out. Okay, I got it. Um, what's your favorite season? Spring, summer, fall, winter, whatever. What is it? Let me know. Um, and I also have to do the challenge this week, which is the one that I picked out, yay me. Um, and I have to act out a scene. Did you ask Ryan when he wants the lunch? He doesn't want it. He's on the diet. Why is he on the diet? Why is he on a diet? Well, I'm going to ask him because I want to know how he's doing on his... Mom! Mom! Um, he's in a state of deep, deep, deep zen, like concentration right now, okay? Well, he needs to eat. He's naked, alright? He's naked, he said he's in the nude, it's Cheeto thing, okay? And I think that if you were to walk in on him naked, and Dad to find out, I think suspicions might be raised. A house divided will not stand. You and I still need to talk about your little surprise trip to Tijuana. I can't wait.